everybody. My name is Dana Mantilla, and I am here today with Adrianus Warmanhoven. Hello there. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Yes. Um, I'm Adrianus Warmanhoven. I hail from the really nice city of Zwolle in the Netherlands. I'm a uh, manager of uh, threat protection in the intelligence and uh, defensive strategist at NordVPN. And, well, today I'm going to talk a bit about Wi-Fi and networking. Yes, that is our topic of the day. This is going to help a lot of people because everybody has Wi-Fi, right? So we're going to talk about how to keep it safe. So our first question is uh, is going to be, why is network security important? Well, network uh, is actually the thing that transports all the uh, data or the commands from one computer or one device to the other uh, device. So you can... Uh, really quickly understand it if something gets in between that uh, disrupts it um, somebody could easily see what banking details you are uh, exchanging with your bank and change uh, those inf that information but also they could see some private information which you'd rather not share or just steal information and share it on on the internet at the moment um, and all those things uh, can happen if you ha don't have any network security Ransomware is, is most prevalent at the moment. And well, basically, if we don't have any network security, malware comes in really easily. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize how, how important it is to have, you know, secure Wi-Fi. And I know we're going to get into that in a little bit. Yes. Right. So the next question is, what could happen if you leave your Wi-Fi unprotected? Well, your Wi-Fi is for, for most people, actually, your first line of defense. It, 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 it's the only thing that broadcasts outside of your house so somebody outside of your house uh, can easily also uh, see it and if you leave it unprotected um, well people might be able to either break the password and, and get into your home network see which devices there are um, and all the other other kind of shenanigans um, it really you really have to realize it's something that goes on uh, outside of your house so it's, it's not not just it doesn't stop at the front door somebody uh, sitting like almost uh, two or three houses uh, further on could do something with your wi-fi so you really should protect that well, i think a lot of people too when they whenever they set it up right it had been a few years ago a lot of years ago it's just one of those things that everybody's afraid to even touch it because they don't understand the way it works they're afraid they're going to break it so they just leave it and it, it might even have the factory you know wi-fi password that was in there so it is a very important thing for people to go and to change it to something else other than that it's it's not as scary as it as it once was. Um, nowadays, it's it's almost a breeze to set up. Uh, the, this whole fear comes from from the old days when we had to do uh, uh, like this rain dance uh, around the router and, and and all these kind of rituals to get anything working at all. But nowadays, it, it's rather you have only one leaflet that says install the app, press this button on your router, and basically you're you're go, uh, going. So really, take some time and and, and look at it. So that's very important for people to know there. It's a lot easier now because maybe yes. they were involved in it, you know, five years. I'm sure it's changed even since five years ago, five years ago, 10 years, whenever you set up your Wi-Fi. So that's very good that everyone should know it's easier to do now. No rain dances. No. <laughs> so how do you secure your home Wi-Fi? Well, one thing I would always recommend is um, split your Wi-Fi. Most people don't know that um, the mid to high end routers um, have multiple Wi-Fi networks, which you can, can set up. And, and it's, it's not complicated at all. And the reason you would do that is to have your smart stuff, like your uh, Roomba or your uh, lighting or anything like that. You put those on one network because those will not be updated as quickly as all the other devices. So you make a separation in that. So you have all the smart and, and almost vulnerable IoT stuff in one network. And your own network, you put that uh, uh, on a separate. If you have a high-end router, you can have more than one Wi-Fi and you can make a guest network, et cetera, et cetera. But at least split the, the, the whole Amazon ring and, 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 and Roombas, and et cetera, in one part. The other thing is always uh, use the newest settings that are available and which still work. Um, and the last part is important because most new routers, they can have a, a WPA3, which is, is a, a specific form of security. And which is the most advanced currently but not all devices can do that and what a lot of people uh, start doing is just put everything on the lowest security so all devices work but you can also think about well maybe i should retire some devices which cannot go to the newest uh, state and um, another part is 
um, set up your firewalling. Um, and also this is a lot simpler than it used to be. Nowadays in your router, you just have this simple uh, uh, configuration screen. You just click on switch on my firewall and, and you're 90% good to go. And you only have to give some, some extra uh, permissions, but this is something you have, just have a cup of coffee and some calm, you'll get there. It, it, it's not that hard. So here's a question. So how does somebody know if if they set it to the highest settings? How do they know if one of their devices that you know doesn't work with that? How do they know? Do they get notice or? Yes, you you simply cannot connect to, to the Wi-Fi network. It, it, it's okay. really easy to see. Okay, that's that that's good. So you won't be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. For over 20 years, DMARC Solutions has been providing best-in-class infrastructure and data protection solutions. An exciting new area of expertise is working with the defense industrial base to navigate and simplify the complexity of CMMC. Daymark is on an exclusive list of organizations approved to provide and implement Microsoft commercial cloud and government cloud solutions. The best part about Daymark is what their clients have to say about them. Five-star Google reviews and A-plus testimonials. So many satisfied clients have chosen Daymark, and you should too. Yeah, just play around, play around with it with the devices next to you. Okay, all right. Good to know, good to know. All right, our next question. How to keep the network secured outside of the home? That's a bit harder um, because uh, either you have, uh, I don't know, uh, 4G connections or 5G connections, uh, which is directly to the cell phone, or you have a guest Wi-Fi. The connection uh, to the cell phone goes through your telco and then the telephone company and then to the uh, website and the guest Wi-Fi, who knows? Um, this is something I'm, I'm really trying to get in, into people when they're on vacation. Mm -hmm. You don't know if the administrator uh, of the place where you are, if that is a trustworthy person, but you're still uh, doing all your traffic to this person's network equipment. You have no control over that. So how to keep this safe? Um, well, use a VPN. <laughs> it's as simple as that. A VPN uh, um, make sure that even if it's routed through uh, untrustworthy network uh, components, um, your connection is still private. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's our next question is, how does a VPN work? Um, one misconception that, that exists is that the VPN will um, protect you from your device until the website. This is not true. It protects you to our exit node. And, and this is a complicated name, but what actually happens is all your data is being wrapped inside an armor. That armor is being shipped uh, to our exit node, to our uh, transfer place. And from there, it's unpacked and then sent to the uh, website or app or whatever, um, just as normally you would have uh, done uh, without any VPN. So it protects you the fir uh, for the first part or the first mile, uh, if, if you want. Um, and this means that nobody for the first mile can interrupt or see or um, understand what you are doing and it keeps your data safe even if you're on a holiday it keeps your data safe when you're uh, going to the telcos uh, infrastructure it keeps you safe if you go to uh, any vacation uh, free wi-fi infrastructure okay so that's very important so people especially when they're on vacation and away and there's free wi-fi everywhere or the airport I'm sure that's probably yes. another one too you know so to have a vpn on your phone and then use it when you're not at home and when you're at home use your protected wi-fi not just your phone also on your laptop i see a lot of people have vpns on their phone but they forget to put it on their uh, laptop when they're um, at work uh, and in a, in a different country they sit in the hotel use the hotel wi-fi it's the same thing yeah. always use a vpn Okay, that's very, very good. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you want to throw out there that would help? This is great information. Yes, um, in the um, I will send uh, some some links of uh, free and, and easy to use um, software, which you can also install to, to uh, secure net, your network. And also, I would really recommend uh, looking at uh, the Nord um, offerings because we are not only have a VPN, but we also do things like uh, threat protection where we uh, block trackers, block malware, um, we have a password manager, which is also an important part for, for uh, your uh, security. So I'd really recommend just looking at our site. I'm, I'm not saying uh, people should uh, buy anything, 
at least you can read about what's available uh, to protect yourself. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, thank you. This was very, very helpful information. And uh, we hope to have you back on again. We'll find another topic to talk about. Yeah, I would like to. All right, great. Well, thank you everybody for watching and we hope to see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.